my greatest spiritual influence uh, is Thomas Merton. And, and Merton, it's one of the big deals with, with Merton, is that you just don't accept any everything that someone else says necessarily on faith without challenging it. Again, that's not a direct quote, but that's that's pretty much Merton's theory. And it is you're not seeking to know about God. This is Merton's great point. This is the best. This when he's I read this years and years ago, and I've come back to it many times. We're not seeking to know about God. We're seeking to know God. And as Catholics, we believe God is love. As Christians, we believe God is love. And and then we're, 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 we're attempting to know God in that context. And we're told how we do that. We're told how we do that is by loving God with all our heart and soul and our neighbor as ourself. That's how we reflect on it. Now, what does that mean for me? Well, it means I'm a failure at that. I mean, well, that's true. And I accept that. Uh, you know, we can call it a failure. We can call it sin. We can call it regression. We can call it all kinds of things. I'm a failure about at that. But I also feel very strongly in my religious journey that the mere fact that I fall down does not mean that I have to stay there. That uh, that, that the religious journey is to get back up again. And when I do question it to think about it and pursue it. In, insofar as being a Roman Catholic is concerned, I think that I think that we are unfair to the church and we forget that we are the church. The church isn't 200 guys wearing red caps and one guy wearing a white cap in Rome. Never has been. The church is 1.3 billion people who have different views of things but come together in a liturgy to celebrate man that they believe was also God and came in for our salvation and to give us a way to find God through love. In a liturgy that extols that and in a creed that we all read every Sunday which talks about those things, and w which is less concerned about the political verities of any given time. You know, I just think that um, we live in a time where, as individuals, we've got to understand that we're going to fail and that we're not going to be the good, as good a people as we want to be. But that doesn't mean that we don't try to be and don't realize that God still loves us. And, and in opening ourselves up to the goodness of life and not all of the bad stuff that is around us, that that is where we find our, who we really are, our real being. And when we find that real being, somewhere even deeper in a, in a more profound sense is where we find God within ourselves.